Hey guys, thanks so much for joining. It's Michelle. If you don't know me, I am a former client advisor for Louis Vuitton. So today's video is about luxury trends and how they are just becoming so toxic. Not just toxic, but classist, elitist, somewhat racist. First of all, why is the internet obsessed with looking rich? Why are y'all obsessed with looking rich? At the expense of your own financial interests. So yes, anyone can go in depth and that's what we're doing, right? Influencers justifying their purchases by calling them investment bags, investment pieces, investment watches. I mean, not that the stock market can be reliable all the time, but we're investing in things over accounts, properties. You're shoving your closet full of material things and calling it self-love over spending time and money on activities that actually increase your self-love and self-worth. Actually work on your mindset and your wealth consciousness rather than just making yourself look like a fake wealthy person. So this is all very toxic. So that brings me to the point that everyone is talking about right now. There are, there are so many videos about quiet luxury and stealth wealth. It's just another trend, another aesthetic, and that is okay. But what I'm seeing with these trends is the underlying snobbery because some of it sounds like just a bunch of people saying, look at me. I'm so tired of looking like you commoners, you commoners, you common consumers with your Chanel flaps and your Louis Vuitton canvas bags with your monogram logos. And I am of a higher echelon. I am quiet luxury and I don't need those logos anymore. I'm so rich that I just don't need to show off those logos anymore. So I'm gonna spend my money over here at Laura Piana and Chloe and make myself look richer than you. I'm not really there, but I just don't want to look like you anymore. So let's go for the browns and tans and navies and Polo Ralph Lauren as if I came from old money because I'm old money. <laughs> Why don't you guys just spend your money elsewhere on something else? So don't try to look like me because I know the value of my bag and my belt and my things and my wallet and it makes me a more valuable person. Okay, so quiet luxury, stealth wealth, old money versus new money. These are all just trends and it's okay. So trends always come and go in fashion every like 15 to 20 years. What is not okay is the mentality of snobbery that's so behind it that it's okay to wear this if you have money, but you can't wear this if you're middle class. But if you're poor, I don't want you to even try to look like you're rich. <laughs> it's just the idea that you have to show off that you have to have money. So we did it loudly and now quietly. So what the heck is going on now? We have to buy the Louis Vuitton to buy our way to status. Oh, but now I am going to quiet it down and buy this very expensive tan sweater that I could probably just buy at Zara, but I'm going to just prove to you that I'm quiet so that you know I have old money. By the way, nobody is judging you on what you're wearing. If you feel that way, maybe you need a new circle of friends. Maybe you need to work on your self-awareness and lack of self-confidence. Let's talk later. So stealth wealth, you cannot buy your way into wealth. Buying a bag or a watch does not make you wealthy. It also does not buy you status, whatever that means. Buying a material item does not buy you character or class. Now, contrary to what people believe on the internet, you can always put on a show to make it look like you have enough money to afford these things and anyone, anyone can afford these things. Now, what is really strange here is people putting things and brands on a pedestal, such as if I get this, I'm entitled to be above you because I spent a lot of money on this item and I'm entitled to judge you. So what does this really convey in your life? Do you really want to feel like you're above other people? Is your life that empty that if I'm not dressed a certain way or people don't recognize how much money I've spent, I'm not going to fit in, which also translates to if you don't dress a certain way and you don't dress like me and didn't spend as much as me, you don't get to sit at my table. Reminds me of that movie, you know, Mean Girls. You guys, some of you are just mean girls. Now you see brands like Louis Vuitton, Gucci, Balenciaga, all of them, they are aspirational brands. These brands were created really with middle to upper class in mind. You see, anyone can aspire to be rich and this is what they prey on. You can have the dream. Just spend your money here and you'll feel really good 
for having this item. So let me bring up an, an internet trend, the internet model who has to have a ripped bodycon dress, a beautiful, perfect body with no fat in your waist, perfect hourglass filtered skin, every single day surgically enhanced booty and breasts. Women really feel like they have to look this way to be attractive and to compete with other women. Don't forget the luxury bag to make you feel like you've made it. Now you've achieved that, it's not enough. I need another surgery and another. And that one bag is not enough. I need a closet full of luxury bags. So then when you get to that point where you have too many bags, now they're accused of being, oh, a gold digger and a stupid person. She spent all her money on bags instead of donating to the poor. You could have donated to the poor. She probably did donate to the poor, okay? But it's none of your business. Okay, anyways, so these trends, stealth wealth, Quite Luxury, Logomania, Cottagecore. Uh, what was the other one? Beach Grandma, Barbie Core. Like they're just guidelines. They're just guidelines of certain aesthetics and it doesn't mean it defines who you are or how much money you have. And we're not to use it to insult other people or put people or yourself on a pedestal. Let's just talk about another internet trend, Logomania, which became a thing like late 90s, 2000s, R&B, hip hop community, streetwear. Uh, we even saw like Paris Hilton and Britney and Logomania, old Kim Kardashian. Remember those big Louis Vuitton used to carry? Even some of those were fake. So now if we see some with Logomania, are you saying that now that person who dresses that way has a lower value than someone who dresses stealth wealth? So now either way, if the person wears logos and you're wearing logos or not wearing logos and you're not wearing logos, it's just this idea that they're trying to be like you're trying to be in your class. All right, this is just as classist and elitist as, hey, there's people who still don't want certain cultures and ethnicities moving into their neighborhood because of their perceived value must be here. How dare you aspire to be associated with me by living in my neighborhood and driving the same car as me, wearing the same jewels, holding the same handbag, you don't look like you can afford that. So I'd rather you not do that. I'd rather you not move here or breathe the same air as me because it's just gonna hurt how people perceive me. Yeah, that's what it sounds like to me, okay? The last time I checked too, I was happy with myself and I found that I could actually wear what I want without having to worry about the judgment of others. Some of y'all just think you're Jesus out there. It must be an awful existence to be so bothered by what somebody else has or doesn't have or think that you're valuable, more valuable because you spend more money on your bag. You see, I mean, that sounds kind of miserable to me. Now, when I worked for Vuitton, I was in misery. I was working for the toxic ex-boyfriend. I was at the worst point of my life. I was vulnerable, impressionable. And so I started to meet these customers who could buy these bags and I couldn't, contrary to what everybody thinks. And every Vuitton sales associate will back me up on this. Vuitton sales associates are not paid enough to afford the goods that we sell. You see, but I started to do the work on myself and I discovered that the more I was judging other people, I was really judging myself. It's always a self-reflection. So if you're in the habit of judging other people, I hate to break it to you, Sally. There's something still missing in your own life and that's okay. We all grow at different times not putting it down. You know, I want everyone to be a better version of themselves. Louis Vuitton, it's an aspirational brand. So there's nothing wrong with having aspirations. But when you turn those aspirations into snobbery, it becomes truly ugly. So I'm not kidding. The level of, of toxicity from the corporation, you're not producing enough numbers, 15,000 a day of sales is just not enough. You're not selling enough perfumes. You're not selling enough trunks or fine jewelry. And, and then on top of that, we're being looked down on by like some of our clients. I empathize with where people are in their lives because I always attribute it to something really bad is going on in their life that they have to reflect at other people. And like I said, people develop at different times. But it's so important for me to say this because now you have this internet culture that the younger generation is growing up to put their value on like the approval of other people based on their material items on what they have or don't have and that seems to be more important than a person's true character which is just the most toxic way to be i mean dress beige if you want to dress in all black if you want to dress in all logos dress colorful just be happy <laughs> luxury consumption is just as bad as fast fashion consumption we'll get into that in another show you can shop for who you are 
and it's okay. And you don't have to judge yourself or other people by what they have or have not, or even how they look. Because, you know, I can see through that. It's truly a reflection on what you have carrying inside. So, hey guys, let's just try to do better for each other and for ourselves and not label ourselves this or that based on luxury trends. <laughs> okay, guys, so before I end the video, I wanted to announce my channel membership. First of all, thank you guys so much for all the love and support and getting me to 20K subscribers. So I've opened a channel membership. So this way I can do live Q and A's because I get so many questions from you guys and I can't possibly answer them all. It takes a lot of time, just questions on which bag to buy or how to repair my bag and things like that. So I really do appreciate the trust that you have in me, but I want to be able to interact and communicate with my audience. So be sure to join the channel membership. You'll get unedited videos so you'll get the information quicker. And like I said, access to the live Q and A's so I can interact with you guys quicker. Thank you guys for the love and I will see you soon. Bye.